A six-month campaign aims to use the youth uh, to inspire social change through training, education and awareness. A program called 750 Amped is also combating the stigma around COVID-19, particularly in socially vulnerable communities. The campaign's uh, Jose Andre joins us now live via Skype. Jose, thank you so much for joining us. Now, a few months ago, COVID-19 wasn't even on anybody's radar. Uh, your organization has obviously have to, had to move very quickly just to find out where the needs are for this kind of program. How did you decide on focusing on the youth to try and spread the word here? Thank you very much, Marcel. Um, essentially, what we have done at PACS Advisory is we have had to go back to understanding that youth are a critical part of any society's response to whatever challenge might be um, might be confronting that society at, a, at, a, at any particular point in time. And we firmly believe that young people should never be at the periphery of combating any social issues. So what we've done is we've seen 750 young people across um, what we call areas of high transmission potential. And we are using training and education to create awareness about the COVID-19 campaign, knowing the impact young people have in their community. We're trying to leverage that influence to combat stigma, misinformation, and misinformation on the pandemic. Um, uh, talk to me a bit about what you're hearing from these communities around the stigma attached to COVID-19. Like, like I said before, this is something that's come up on us very quickly. How has that stigma attached to uh, the coronavirus already taken hold in different communities? It's been a very problematic aspect about this pandemic, and which is not unique to COVID-19. At any particular point in time, when societies are faced with a crisis such as this one, one of the challenges that we seem to have is that there is a deliberate campaign around misinformation, um, particularly at a grassroots level, that leads to fundamental misconceptions about the path, the behavior of the virus, the modes of transmission, and this makes it particularly difficult um, for government and all other social actors to combat the pandemic. Um, and what we're seeing at a grassroots level is that people don't understand COVID-19. They don't understand the pathogen, they don't understand its behavior, the modes of transmission, and they don't understand how to protect themselves for it, from it. So this issue of miseducation um, and misinformation has become particularly pronounced in social economic development, economic development communities. Uh, and now you focused on some of the major provinces, specific areas there, Alex here in Gauteng, uh, and Bloemfontein in the Free State, KwaZulu-Natal, Eastern Cape, and Kailicha in the Western Cape. Um, are, uh, how are you running uh, or rolling out this program? Uh, is it a mixture of boots on the ground as well as technology? Yes, it is, Marcel. So all 750 young people are boots on the ground um, in the communities that you just mentioned. Um, we have had to leverage e-learning to be able to give them adequate training um, and to equip them with all the knowledge that they need to be able to go out in these communities. We've trained them on how to safely utilize PPE and how to maintain adequate social distances as they interact with, um, these, with these communities. But we've got all of these 750 young people presently on the ground, driving, uh, teaching, learning, and training around, around the world. Okay, we're going to leave it there. That's Jose Andre from the 750 Amped campaign. And if you're trying to figure out what the 750 stands for, seven, fighting the coronavirus seven days a week, uh, five, basic protective measures to fight the coronavirus, um, and zero, the journey towards zero infection, something that we um, can only dream about uh, uh, right now. We thank uh, Jose Andre uh, for his time, and we wish him and his team all the best in the important work that they're doing in various communities across the country. When we continue, we get an update on how things readiness for level three lockdown which could see an increased number of COVID-19 infections stay with us for that conversation
Well, the most powerful tool is knowledge, and news provides knowledge for South Africans during this period. You have this whole world that's brought to you by a little screen, and people are connecting you, telling you you're not the